I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, CV. It's Sydney and Antonio here with your announcements for October 15, 2020. Teachers, please send any updates or announcements that you may have to CVTV at centralrallysd.net. Attention all students. The first fundraiser of the year is the Chestnut Hill Candle Fundraiser. If you would like to participate, please go to Mrs. McCracken's or Mrs. Kramer's room for a brochure and order form. The order form and money, either cash or checks, are to be made to CVHS and are due back to either Mrs. McCracken or Mrs. Kramer by Thursday, October 22nd. If you are interested in earning volunteer hours, have a GPA of 85% or better, and are available after school twice a week for one hour, please see Mrs. Jones for opportunities for volunteer tutoring. Students, please send any throwback picture of you in a Halloween costume to CVTV at centralvalleysd.net. That is all we have for you today, CV. Now here's Emma and Jordan with your sports. Good morning, CV. It's Emma and Jordan here with your sports for October 15th, 2020. Today, girls varsity soccer competes against Blackhawk at home at 7.30. Girls Volleyball serves up against Blackhawk as well, playing an away game at 6 o'clock. Boys Varsity Football kicks off against Ambridge tomorrow away, starting at 7. That concludes our sports, CV. Now here's Tyler with a special segment on graduation projects, as well as a, se a segment on E! News with Elise and Sydney. Good morning, Central students. My name is Tyler McCracken, and today we will be discussing the recent changes to the graduation project. Due to certain circumstances, this year's project will focus more on career interest more than the previous years. Students will use a website called PA Career Zone in order to finish the project. Although, if a student has already started or finished the senior project with the other requirements, he or she may still use it for the senior project. Students must create an account with PA Career Zone that has shown in Shobi. If you have not yet received the Shobi code for the graduation project, Please do so by going into your school email. Another requirement for this project is to make a resume for the career that interests you the most. Now, let's go to Mrs. Jones for questions and answers about the resume and other requirements. Hello, Mrs. Jones. Hello. Thank you for letting us interview you about the senior project. Certainly. My first question is, why did they decide to change the senior project? Well. We struggled a little bit last year because of the pandemic, and we wanted to make sure that we were giving everyone a good opportunity to be able to get their hours in, and we realized most places do not want volunteers now. So we came up with an alternative, um, which if you still have your hours done, the old senior project rules can apply to you easily. Nothing's lost. But if not, we have a research-based and academic project, which is geared towards careers that we thought would supplement nicely, at least for this year. Now, uh, next question is, what type of information would students have to provide on the resume? Okay, a lot of times we just look for the simple things. We always want you to include whatever kind of volunteer work you've done in the community. And if you've had a job, please put that down too. If you've got any special skills, like you're great at technology, or you're an awesome singer, or um, something that you know that is unique and you've enjoyed it, please put that on also. And then, of course, include whatever you did for your senior project. And uh, my last question is, uh, do students actually still need volunteer hours, and how many would be the uh, requirement? If you're doing the volunteer hours, you would need 40. It's just that right now, that's a little bit hard to get. Some have already done it, because they did it like very, very early, like at the end of their sophomore year. But if you didn't, that's why we have the alternative project. Thank you for your time. Thank you. As you can see, there are a significant amount of changes to the senior project this year. The last requirement for the project is a Google slide presentation with at least 20 slides. In this presentation, you will need to have a title slide and then show the steps necessary to get to the career you desire. This includes educational requirements, schools that offer the degree, potential salary, things that you need to know and do, and why the career interests you. On a side note, each slide must have at least four facts, and half the facts need to have pictures of them. Any other information can be found in the show me class, and any questions can be asked to Mr. Jones or Mrs. Kostelik. As you can see, there are many changes to this year's process here. 
This has been Tom McCracken with your senior project changes. Have a great rest of your day. Good morning, CV, and welcome back to another week of E News. On Sunday, the Los Angeles Lakers won 106 93 against Miami Heat, winning the NBA championship. LeBron James was named the NBA Finals MVP for the fourth time. He won the award while playing for the Miami Heat and the Cleveland Cavaliers. He is the first player in NBA history to be the Finals MVP with three different franchises. Here's a video from this weekend on the championship game. Final seconds here in this NBA season. The respect from those two. And that's it. It's over. This historic 2020 NBA championship belongs to the Los Angeles Lakers. The Lakers conquer the bubble, and banner number 17 will soon hang in the rafters. Tory Lanez was charged in the shooting of Meg Thee Stallion during an argument and can face up to 22 years and eight months in prison. He is being charged with two felony counts after shooting her in the foot back in July. Finally, after Jonah Hill calls off his engagement with his fiance Gianna Santos after two years together. That's all the e-news we have for you this week, CV. Have a great day, and we will see you again next week.